fundamentally I am a teacher and so I love to be able to share what I'm learning and whether I do that in a large group or in a small group I love to be able to share with other people what I have been learning I find that very stimulating. He can walk into a room and he may not know a subject matter and you can ask him to speak about something and he can speak instantly on his feet and really engage the crowd. To be able to count on him to do something like that on a spur of the moment and get people interested in listening, that's amazing. An incredible leader and, and someone that's able to take his skills as an elite athlete and, and as, a, as someone that, that uh, knows human behavior, someone that, that uh, knows family dynamics and business and, and uh, excellence and can put them together really well. You see a lot of professors or teachers or even consultants and they talk from a place of theory or maybe they talk from a place of let me advise you. Instead David is like, this is my story, this is where I've had hard times, this is where I've messed up, but this is what we can learn from it and learn from it together. I love to be able to share what I've been learning. When I'm asked to speak, it often stimulates me having to do some more learning. Last summer I was asked to give a talk about change. I'd never talked about change before, so that motivated me to study more and to learn more. One of the reasons I love to speak is it requires me to learn myself. One of the reasons I love to be involved in teaching or workshops because that requires me to continue to grow and learn myself. I also enjoy the interaction with an audience. Some people are afraid of that. I enjoy the chance to see if I can light up an audience and catch their interest. David is a very charismatic leader. You want to follow David. He has a phenomenal ability to communicate in a way that's very engaging, you want to listen and pay attention to. His ability to communicate is incredibly, I'd say dynamic and, and powerful in a way that you feel like he's really understanding you and he can lay out the issue and the, and the problem in a way that's very clear. David's openness and transparency makes it very easy to integrate some of David's ideas into their own lives. They can easily put themselves into that situation and, and try and think about it. then how could I have handled that better. I learned a lot from David watching him do his thing and so many times he asked me those questions and he gets curious about me and why I'm doing this or that. Or, uh, he's helped me to be more reflective about what I do. If you think about my speaking, Often I'm speaking in a large group, but also often teaching in a classroom setting or speaking in a classroom setting. And in those, in those environments, I love the question and answer interaction. And so I enjoy large groups where I have a chance to share what I've been learning. I enjoy a, a more intimate workshop type setting where I have a chance to interact and dialogue. I'm also very often sharing my experience, uh, whether that be something that uh, I experienced when I was president of our family company or whether I'm sharing something about my experience of my personal life. I'm always trying to weave in, here's what happened to us, here's the mistakes we made, how can we learn from that, or here's something that worked for me, what do you think?